tonight, an eyewitnesses exclusive. A former New York City police officer says he was forced to retire on disability. Just one problem. He insists he's not disabled, and he says he's fully capable of being a police officer. He was on the force for 17 years, and now he's so angry he's suing. Investigative reporter Danielle Lee here now with more. Danielle. Shade and Diana, usually it's the other way around. We hear complaints about healthy people taking advantage of disability payments. For Greg Hamilton, it is just the opposite. He says he's completely healthy, and now he's accusing the NYPD of discrimination. Does this look to you like a guy who's disabled? The NYPD Medical Board says he is. They recommended Greg Hamilton for disability retirement late last year. Even though Greg had recently fought and won in an NYPD charity boxing match <laughs> while under their evaluation. I'm getting pushed off on a disability that I was like, I don't even have. Apparently, Greg was healthy enough to fight, but not healthy enough to wear the badge. According to the medical board, he had arthritis so severe he couldn't handle full duty police work. You would think it's ridiculous that you're labeling me disabled. Greg's medical file indicates the trouble started back in 2008. He sprained his left shoulder lifting a metal barrier. Doctors diagnosed Greg with arthritis. In 2014, he had hip surgery. And in 2016, Greg hurt that same left shoulder again, requiring surgery. Doctors put him on restricted duty. I didn't ask for any of this. Four months later, Greg's personal doctor cleared him for work. <laughs> but the NYPD doctors did not. Instead, they recommended him for disability retirement, mentioning his past injuries and his arthritis. It's very frustrating. We emailed the NYPD for an explanation, and a spokesperson wrote us back, indicating Greg had signed a form that he agreed with the medical board's findings. But in recordings we got from Greg, Greg says you hear him telling NYPD medical professionals just the opposite. I can sign this form today saying I do not agree with it because I yes. actually don't. Okay. What is your take on that, uh, on what's going on? I feel fine. You I feel just... fine? <laughs> Greg filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, accusing the NYPD of discrimination. Federal law says that a slightly increased risk of harm is not reason enough to deny someone employment. Employers must conduct an individualized assessment of the employee's present ability to do the job. Blanket policies about medical conditions aren't okay. I can clearly work. And that's what's so frustrating for Greg. He doesn't feel disabled. But now I'm off the job. He just wants to do the job he believes he was born to do. Especially when it came to helping people. I loved doing that. That dream is shattered, I guess. The police pension fund wouldn't comment about their decision because of medical privacy laws. The NYPD also mentioned that Greg had an opportunity to appeal but didn't. Greg says he wasn't aware that he could appeal, but he is pursuing a lawsuit.